Okay, so over here we've got the Worker Universal Pusher Kit for the Strife. This, of course, uh, being the answer to what if I want to fire both long darts and short darts. There's certainly several vendors that you can get it from, and depending on the vendor, it can come in a combination of either the pusher by itself, the pusher with the adapter, or all three as I've just ordered it. So the pusher itself is intended to be able to push long darts and also short darts. The adapter is forward orientated as far forward as possible. In terms of installation, it's very quite simple. Over here I've got my strife that I've already opened up and I've already taken out the screws. And so what we do is we pop this off and then we get our pusher in. We put our spring in. And so that just goes on just like that. So you can see that this gives you the flexibility of using a full length like this. And it also gives you the flexibility of using a half length. So the adapter is very much like the existing adapter in that you push it in, you pull it out when you're done. The difference though is the orientation and unfortunately I don't have one of the original ones to show but you can see with this it's pushed just about as far forward as you can in the magwell. The reason being you want to make sure that the pusher pushes the dart all the way through. So if you had it even say back here First of all, it's not going to line up with the pusher, but second of all, the dart isn't going to go all the way into the actual flyable cage itself. Whereas when it's like this, it goes in all the way. So as with the original intent, you can, if you wish, take it out altogether, and then you can put in a full length magazine, and still fire it off. So initially when I put it together, I noticed that the pusher itself seemed to be out of alignment kind of worked but had to sort of nudge it by the magazine which isn't really ideal. When I took it apart what I had noticed was it was actually where I'd put the spring. Um, I'd actually put it down too far low and this was causing it to tilt up this way. So a problem I was having was with the original spring that I had for here, it was actually causing the arm to push out to the side. Now with this one, it doesn't seem to be as much of a problem. So we can see there's still a little bit of a problem with the push being out to the side, but not quite as pronounced. Another consideration to make is that if you do use a kit for this, you will need to make sure that you've got enough clearance. For example, in this kit, you, I can't actually get it all the way down uh, because the handle is actually getting in the way. You can see just right there. 
and even as well if you wanted to try to get it into Raven the adapter itself doesn't seem to fit very well it's a very snug fit but also it gets in the way right there and a bit of a firing <coughs> And firing demonstration number two. So potentially I just need to wear these magazines in, but I have noticed a few troubles in terms of getting it to feed well. Number two. 